On November 9th, the world was confronted with two images that no one expected. The James Webb Space Telescope and the Virtual Telescope Project released their newest observations of the interstellar visitor known as 3I Atlas, and what they showed left researchers stunned. In these photos, the object appears as a sharp, compact point of light with absolutely no sign of a tail. There's no detectable outgassing, no drifting dust, no faint cloud of vapor, none of the typical markers of an object shedding billions of tons of material as it swings close to the sun. But the detail that unsettled scientists the most is this. 3I Atlas looks almost identical to how it appeared back in July when the Hubble Space Telescope last captured it. For an object expected to have already lost over 5 billion tons of mass from solar heating alone, this unchanged appearance challenges nearly every established rule of comet behavior. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb has called this discovery a wake-up call from the cosmos. Because if the images are accurate, showing a body accelerating through the solar system without releasing any debris, then the 3I atlas might not be a comet in the traditional sense. It may be something built. The mystery around 3I atlas intensified in late October when the object neared its closest point to the sun. Instead of slowing down, it sped up. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory reported a four arc second deviation from its predicted path, a tiny angle that equals a shift of tens of thousands of kilometers at a distance of 203 million kilometers. Something significant was pushing it off course. The 3I atlas was moving outward at 0.2222 millimeters per second squared, while drifting sideways at nearly the same rate, covering more than 80 kilometers of unexplained displacement in just one month. That's far beyond what random solar effects could produce. Observatories worldwide began asking the same question, what force was steering this object? To create that much thrust, the object would need to vent about one-sixth of its mass, roughly five billion tons of gas and dust. Such activity would produce a bright, unmistakable halo visible even to small backyard telescopes. Instead, the sky showed nothing. No tail, no dust, no vapor, only a silent object accelerating as though driven by an unseen mechanism. To show just how strange 3I Atlas really is, the Virtual Telescope Project released a direct comparison between it and Comet Leonard, an ordinary comet photographed under the same conditions only days earlier. Leonard behaved exactly as physics predicts, a glowing tail stretching away from the sun, shaped by solar radiation and outgassing. But Atlas, it remained a single crisp point of light. No haze, no glow, no motion, like comparing a living creature to a perfectly still sculpture. For a comet to accelerate without shedding debris is the equivalent of watching a rocket ignite with no exhaust. The physics don't simply fail, they break. Harvard's Avi Loeb calculated that if Atlas's acceleration were caused by escaping gas, the resulting plume would shine brighter than the full moon. Yet the images from November 5th show none of that. Its brightness, color, and symmetry remain almost unnervingly unchanged. Gianluca Mazzi, director of the Virtual Telescope Project, called it the most baffling observation I've ever made. Even the instruments specialized in detecting the faintest dust signals reported the same result every time, zero. No particles, no vapor, no hint of the forces supposedly pushing this object through space. When the latest data reached Harvard, Avi Loeb and his team began re-examining the physics behind 3I Atlas's unexpected acceleration, using its estimated mass about 33 billion tons, nearly a million times heavier than Oumuamua. They confirmed that no known natural force could explain what they were seeing. Solar radiation pressure was far too weak. Outgassing was nowhere to be found and gravitational nudges from planets were impossible at such vast distances. That left only one conclusion. The object was being moved by a mechanism we do not yet understand. We must accept what the data is telling us, Loeb said. If physics fails, the theory must change. But for many scientists, that shift was difficult to face. The numbers didn't merely suggest motion. They hinted at control. The acceleration was smooth, stable, and aligned precisely with the sun's position, almost as if it had been programmed to behave that way, the only vaguely comparable event was the mysterious behavior of Oumuamua back in 2017. But Atlas's acceleration is stronger, more consistent, and far more deliberate, pushing the boundaries of celestial mechanics into territory that may require entirely new explanations. As global observatories continued feeding in new measurements, an unmistakable pattern emerged. 3I Atlas wasn't breaking one rule of celestial behavior, it was breaking virtually all of them. 
Its orbit, for example, was aligned almost perfectly with the ecliptic plane, the same narrow path traced by Earth and the other planets within just five degrees. The odds of a random interstellar object entering our system on that trajectory are so low that Avi Loeb compared it to hitting a cosmic bullseye in complete darkness. Then came the most baffling detail yet, a jet of material appeared to shoot directly toward the sun. That is the opposite of how comets behave. Solar radiation always pushes dust outward, creating tails that point away from the sun, but Atlas seemed to ignore that rule entirely, as if it were somehow resisting the very force that should shape it. Its speed was another contradiction. Atlas moved faster than lighter interstellar objects like Oumuamua and Borisov, even though its enormous mass should slow it down, and its brightness curve made even less sense. As it approached the sun, it brightened at a rate of negative seven magnitudes, twice the steepness of any recorded comet. Then came the color shift, an intense spectral blue, not icy white or reddish dust, but a hue associated with extremely high temperatures, exceeding that of the sun's 5,800 Kelvin photosphere. No natural surface can reach such temperatures without rapidly vaporizing. By this point, astronomers were no longer just puzzled, they were unsettled because if 3i Atlas wasn't obeying the laws of celestial mechanics, then it might be responding to something else entirely, perhaps a command. Spectroscopic data from the James Webb Space Telescope and several ground-based observatories revealed something even more unsettling, 3i Atlas's composition. Natural comets normally contain messy, unpredictable blends of rock, ice, minerals, and organic material, but Atlas showed a precise nickel to iron ratio, matching the ratios used in engineered high temperature alloys found in spacecraft components and advanced jet engines. In nature, metals form chaotically. Here they appeared balanced, refined, and deliberately structured. Even its water content was shocking, only 4%, making it drier than the world's driest deserts. This was no dirty snowball, it looked more like something built than something frozen. Some researchers now believe the outer shell may not be natural at all. They propose it could be a ceramic or composite layer, heat-resistant, uniform, and polished, explaining why the object reflects sunlight so cleanly and shows no cracks, vents, or irregular textures. That reflection produced another anomaly, an extreme polarization signature, with light waves emerging in a highly organized pattern. No known natural object produces polarization this precise. It's the kind of optical behavior associated with engineered surfaces. As Avi Loeb put it, if you were to design a probe to survive a billion-year journey across the galaxy, it would look exactly like this. Then came the finding that shocked even the strongest skeptics. When researchers mapped 3i Atlas's full trajectory, they noticed that it passed near the orbits of Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, but conspicuously not Earth. Even more unusual, its timing was flawless. During perihelion, the moment when it should have been nearest to Earth and easiest to study, the object placed itself directly behind the sun, slipping into a natural blind spot where telescopes could not track it. The odds of such an alignment happening by chance are so tiny that several astrophysicists now argue it cannot be accidental. This isn't random. A Jet Propulsion Laboratory analyst said, it's deliberate navigation. The idea sounds extreme until the calculations are laid out the trajectory is so precise that when traced backward, it points straight toward the same region of sky where the famous 1977 WOW signal originated, a narrowband radio burst CD has monitored for decades. Two unexplained phenomena, separated by nearly half a century, pointing to the same coordinates in space. Coincidence? Possibly. But as the evidence continued to stack up, maybe started to resemble avoidance, a refusal to accept what the data might be implying, with each new release from the Virtual Telescope project, the puzzle only grew more unsettling. The deep ultraviolet blue emitted by 3i Atlas defied every known thermal model of comet behavior. Blue light signals high energy, blue light implies heat. Yet the object showed none of the infrared signatures expected from a superheated surface. No warming, no vaporization, no cracking or fragmentation. Instead, it glowed with a kind of light that didn't correspond to temperature at all more like controlled plasma radiation or ionized gases producing their own illumination. This led some plasma physicists to suggest a radical idea. 3i Atlas might be using electromagnetic propulsion, generating thrust by interacting with the solar wind, technology humans have only begun to test in experimental spacecraft. Others proposed an even more haunting possibility. The object might be the surviving fragment of an ancient autonomous machine, 
one that continues to operate long after its creators have vanished, running on systems designed to function for millions or even billions of years. If that theory is correct, then 3i Atlas isn't just an example of alien engineering, it may be evidence of alien endurance, a mechanism still following its mission, quietly and persistently, across cosmic time, and now the countdown truly begins. On December 19, 2025, 3i Atlas will make its closest pass to Earth, roughly 167 million miles away. That distance is close enough for every major observatory, from Hubble to Webb to the upcoming ELT in Chile, to capture the most detailed images ever taken of an interstellar visitor. If Atlas is truly a comet, this encounter should finally reveal the massive plume of gas and dust that physics insists must exist. But if the object remains what it has been so far, silent, blue, and perfectly compact, then the comet hypothesis collapses entirely. What's left is a scenario that challenges our understanding of natural celestial bodies. Scientists are now considering a range of new hypotheses. One proposes that Atlas could be an autonomous probe mapping star systems as part of an extremely long duration survey, technology that advanced civilizations might deploy across the galaxy. Another model suggests it could be a gravitational sentinel, a device that uses solar forces to hold a stable observational path, activating only when it encountered electromagnetic signatures of technological civilizations. More speculative theories go even further. Some physicists have wondered whether Atlas might be part of a cosmic early warning system designed to monitor worlds that reach dangerous technological thresholds, nuclear power, planetary scale communications, or high energy particle experiments. Under this view, Atlas may not be approaching us intentionally. It may simply be following a programmed route triggered by specific radio patterns or atmospheric changes. For now, no one can say for sure. But every new measurement, every spectral line, and every frame of motion tells the same story. This object is behaving as if it is observing, not decaying. And as its closest approach draws nearer, one thing becomes increasingly clear. 3i Atlas may not be finished with us yet. As the latest images from the virtual telescope projects circulate through laboratories, observatories, and online research communities worldwide, one emotion now outweighs curiosity, unease. The cosmos has presented us with another impossibility, a puzzle that refuses to fit into the models we've long trusted, and this time the riddle feels uncomfortably aware of us. The 3 i atlas moves steadily through the solar system, cold, blue, and silent, violating nearly every rule in celestial mechanics. It doesn't behave like a comet, nor resemble an asteroid, nor match any known class of interstellar debris. It accelerates when physics demands it should slow down. It emits a spectral blue glow instead of the expected white dust scatter. It vanishes behind the sun at the exact moment we should see it brightest. Its path is so clean, so intentional, that orbital analysts now compare it more to precise spacecraft navigation than to random cosmic drifting. Yet the data remains unambiguously sharp. No interference, no anomalies, no instrumental noise. It's as if the universe is removing excuses, pushing us toward a conclusion we have avoided for generations. Some researchers have begun to quietly speculate that Atlas may represent a new class of interstellar artifacts, objects built not for communication or contact, but for passive observation. Others propose even stranger ideas that it might be part of a distributed network of probes, a cosmic mesh scattered across star systems to study evolving civilizations from a distance. A few theorists have raised an even more unsettling possibility that Atlas could be reacting to specific signals emitted by Earth, our radio leakage, our satellite traffic, even our neutrino emissions from nuclear reactors. If so, its behavior may not be random at all, but responsive. For now, the truth remains out of reach. But the clarity of the data, consistent, clean, undeniable, suggests that whatever Atlas is, it wants to be seen. And whether we are ready or not, the universe is insisting that we look. The strange truth about 3i Atlas is that the more data we collect, the less sense it makes. Each new image from the Virtual Telescope Project reinforces the same impossible picture, a compact, unwavering point of light, stable, calm, and eerily untouched by the sun's heat or gravity. Radiation pressure, solar winds, tidal forces, none of it seems to matter. Atlas behaves as if the laws that govern every natural object simply glide off its surface like reflections on polished metal. If Atlas is natural, then it forces us to redefine what natural even means. It suggests a category of interstellar objects unlike anything cataloged before, 
bodies that resist heat, ignore gravitational decay, and maintain coherence over unimaginable distances. Some researchers are cautiously floating the idea of a new astrophysical class, hyperstable interstellar remnants, possibly forged in exotic environments like magnetars or quark nova ejecta. But if Atlas is artificial, then humanity has just crossed into the greatest scientific discovery in history, proof that we are not alone under these stars. Either interpretation reshapes our understanding of the universe, because the real question is no longer whether Atlas is a comet. That theory effectively died the moment it accelerated without shedding a tail. Now researchers whisper a much heavier question, what kind of intelligence could design an object capable of traveling billions of years across interstellar space without fuel emissions, without degradation, without a single detectable power source, and still navigate with such surgical precision? What kind of civilization could build something that is enduring? How far beyond us were they? And the most unsettling possibility, are they still out there? Some astrophysicists now speculate Atlas could be an autonomous archival probe, its mission simply to observe, record, and relay. Others consider it might be a derelict, an ancient vessel from a civilization long extinct, continuing on a path encoded before humanity even existed, a ghost ship drifting through the cosmic ocean, repeating its purpose out of memory rather than command. Dr. Avi Loeb has warned for years that when scientists refuse to confront anomalies, science itself risks becoming dogma. We cannot claim to be seekers of truth, he said, if we only accept the truths that make us comfortable. 3i Atlas is that discomfort made real. A reminder that the universe has never been obligated to fit neatly inside our equations. It never has. The sun doesn't ask for permission to burn. The stars don't wait for our approval to shine. And when something enters our skies that contradicts everything we understand, the burden is on us to rise to the mystery, not dismiss it. Atlas forces a reckoning. Every anomaly it presents, its acceleration, its impossible color spectrum, its engineered seeming composition, its deliberate path, pushes us toward a choice. Either cling to familiar models or expand them to include phenomena we once considered unthinkable. Historically, breakthroughs have begun exactly this way. The discovery of quasars, pulsars, and dark energy all started as impossible observations that challenged the status quo. Now, Atlas may be the next such turning point. If it is natural, we must explain an entirely new class of interstellar object with properties far beyond comets or asteroids. If it is artificial, we must consider the implications of encountering technology older, more durable, and more advanced than anything humanity has ever conceived. Either way, pretending it fits into old categories won't save us from what the data already shows. The universe is once again asking a question we cannot ignore. The three-eye atlas has taken us far beyond simple curiosity, it has challenged physics, defied expectations, and confronted us with possibilities that push the limits of science itself. Whether it is a natural phenomenon, unlike anything we have ever seen, or the relic of a long-dead civilization still drifting on its final mission, the object has already changed the way we look at the sky. It reminds us that the universe is not a closed story. It is a living mystery, filled with wonders we are only beginning to recognize. But now the question shifts from astronomers and physicists to you. What do you think 3i Atlas really is? A misunderstood natural object? An ancient probe? A relic from a civilization long gone? Or something we haven't yet imagined? Share your thoughts, your theories, and your predictions in the comments below. Thanks for spending your time with us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you'll be the first to catch our next adventure. Your support truly means the world. Wishing you a wonderful day ahead. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. You'll leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us remember to subscribe for more and like to help us remember to subscribe for more.